students uh, i hope you are fine in last class we discuss about the about the greenhouse what is the greenhouse in that also we discuss about the various type of protected structure today we are going to discuss the types of greenhouse basically how to classify the greenhouse there are various way it has been classified few of them today we will discuss first is the classification of greenhouse based on its system system means how we are using the greenhouse for which purpose we are using for drying or for cultivation or for heating second is the working principle based on the how the greenhouse is working third one is the cost of construction because cost of construction is very important that will affect your for, for profitability of the enterprise fourth one is the construction material which type of construction materials you are using fifth one is the covering material which type of covering material you are using in cladding already we have discussed that in greenhouse three things are very important one is the structure second is the cladding material third one is the gadget required to control the environment condition inside the greenhouse and last one is the shape various type various shapes of greenhouse is all is there first one is as i told the classification of a uh, greenhouse system basically there are two types we can classify broadly first one is the free standing free standing means the all the walls or all you can say all the sides are not attached to it freely it means that it is not attached to any building or any structure and second one is the solarium or you can say attached greenhouse means the this this type of greenhouse is attached to some building or structure if you see this classification the free standing and solarium in free standing there are two things is there one is the crop production and crop drying basically uh, as i told that the we can use the greenhouse for crop production that is the main activity but the, if you see in the crop drying also basically the all type of greenhouse dryer basically we, all the dryer which use the solar energy to heat the inside air is work on the greenhouse principle so we can use the greenhouse principle or greenhouse technology for drying purpose also and second in solarium normally we use for heating of your house or any structure and apart from that that is hobby cultivation later on we will discuss in detail basically if you see in the crop production two things is very important that is cooling of the greenhouse heating of the greenhouse and some of the technology means the if you are operating any greenhouse cooling heating is very important operation to maintain the suitable environment condition inside the greenhouse in crop drying also there are various types of <coughs> drying technologies there greenhouse dryer is there separately we'll discuss about the heating and cooling of greenhouse in in a separate lecture and crop drying in separate lecture if you see the second classification that is on the working principle first one is the passive greenhouse passive means you are not using any external energy for heating or cooling of the greenhouse basically whenever whenever you are using the greenhouse in winter it increases the temperature but in summer the temperature goes high depending upon your outside in air temperature so in passive the heating and cooling operation is is done without the use of any external energy here what you do you design a greenhouse structure in such way that you get the maximum solar gain during winter and try to reduce the solar gain during summer condition but in case of active greenhouse that is opposite to your passive here for all the operations especially the cooling and heating of greenhouse you are using the external source of energy that may be conventional fuel or solar energy we can use for cooling or heating of the greenhouse you can see from this classification the passive greenhouse the passive technology can be used for heating and cooling of the greenhouse and same the active process already we discussed we can use for heating and cooling of the greenhouse we have the separate lecture on the heating and the heating and cooling of the greenhouse there we will discuss in detail about the various types of active and passive technology that we can use for heating and cooling of the greenhouse if you see the based on the construction cost of construction broadly we can classify there are three types you can say cost of construction or technology certainly if your cost of construction is low so technology involvement will be very less but as we will go to higher cost certainly the more technology you will use for improving the heating cooling co2 or any other parameter so you can classify low cost or low technology same way medium cost or medium technology and high cost or 
high technology greenhouse. In low cost already we discussed in the last class in lecture 4 in detail that in basically in the low cost as we already discussed that three things is only two things is there. One is your structure and second thing is your cladding material. In a structure we are normally using the bamboo in Jharkhand. You can use also timber, okay. Normally single layer cladding material, 200 micron plastic films you are using for cladding the greenhouse. Apart from that, insect net, shade net, as per requirement you can use. Here you are using the passive cooling. You are using the passive cooling to cool the structure as per need. There is no heating system in the low cost. And normally you are using for root system, you are using the soil. And drip irrigation is with the manual control. But the important part is, is here is the what is the expected deal. Already we have discussed in detail in lecture 4. Uh, there that the normally you are uh, representing the yield. Uh, product or productivity in ton per hectare. Here you can see it is given that kg per meter square year means the you have to count the duration of the crop also because as already we have discussed the duration of crop is also very important in case of protected structure or greenhouse condition. So ye, here you can say for the case here this example is for tomato you can see that the this yield is 10 to 20 ton 10 to 20 uh, 10 to uh, 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 100 to 200 ton, sorry, 10 to 20 kg per meter square uh, per year. And investment you can see in rupees terms, rupees per meter square is 300 to 500 meters, 500. Here you can see means the in terms it is 100 to 200 ton. But in case of medium cost, normally you use the steel from for the structure and the, it, we can use the plastic film or rigid plastic film. Here you can see that apart from that you are you're using the pat you can use the passive and active cooling system uh, and apart from that the drip irrigation is with the some, some control. In some cases we can apart from the soil you can use the soil substrate also means the artificial growing media and the, here you can see the yield is higher than the low cost because here the control is better than and environment condition is better than you, are, you can use the soil growing media so you, you can see the yield for tomato is 250 to 250 to 500 ton per hectare and you can see because here the it is medium cost uh, or medium technology greenhouse here the cost of construction is between 500 to 1500 rupees per square meter in case of high cost here we can use all the technology available we have so basically apart from that the heating cooling we can use the active passive both the technology for your uh, greenhouse controlling the environment apart from that we can use the co2 enrichment you know because co2 is very important in photosynthesis so you can use the artificial co2 apart from that you can control the light intensity also light intensity duration and a spectrum also apart from that here we normally use the soil substrate mean artificial media because in artificial media we can better control the growing media property apart from that here you can see the full computerized fertigation system full computerized your irrigation system drip irrigation system is there and due to this uh, uh, because you are using the precise control of your root zone and air environment condition yield is between 500 to 750 ton per hectare so, so as you can see the cost because you are using the uh, this is high tech greenhouse so the cost will be more than 1500 rupees depending upon the which type of gadget and control device you are using your cost will be always more than the rupees 1500 per square meter already we have discussed that in based on your greenhouse based on construction materials means already we have discussed so many times that the in, in any greenhouse First thing is your structure, how you are constructing your structure, means the which is the which type of material you are using. So normally in the first we are using the wooden framed structure, pipe framed structure or truss framed structure. In wooden framed we have to take care the due to high moisture content there and you have to protect it from the high moisture and termites. So for that normally use the chromated copper arsenate CCA or ACA. Normally we, you can also use the coal tar, normally here you are using coal tar. And apart from that, you are using waste plastic to, to protect the, your, the, that part that go inside the soil. If, and this is, as I told, that uh, especially in Jharkhand, in, in the northeast, special types of, different types of bamboo is also there. And the, 
because type, depending upon the types of your bamboo, its strength, durability, and maintainability varies. Okay, so selection of the bamboo is also very important when you are going for the construction of greenhouse using the bamboo. Apart from that, here normally because the width of greenhouse is when it is less than six meter, normally you go for the bamboo or uh, timber type uh, frame the structure. In pie frame, the normally the width when a width is more than six hundred six meter, so we go for uh, uh, pipe frame structure. Here, the, all the you can say side post, columns, cross ties, and purlins you use using the your uh, pipes and trusses are not used here. In truss frame structure, basically, if you see that in in any greenhouse structure, stru strength of a structure is very important. Later on, we will discuss about the design of greenhouse. There, we'll give the more emphasis. Basically. If, the a structure, which type of material using for a structure, and what is the strength? Because it is bearing a lot of load, wind speed, snow load, and so many things. So you have to your basically the people from the civil background take care about the strength of the structure, which type of material use, what will design. Okay. Apart from that, the persons from the chemical, plant physiology, horticulture take care about the how much light we are getting, which type of light we are getting, what is light intensity, what, how much CO2 is required, okay, persons from the culturing background. So here basically you are using the trust to increase the strength of your st structure, but certainly if you use the trust from a structure, your cost of construction will go higher. Based on the covering material that you can say the different types of covering materials are there, it will affect your inside greenhouse environment and certainly the depending upon types of frame your and types of your cladding material fixing will be different. Depending upon the which type of cladding material you are using, your fixing of, suppose in case of glass the fixing technology method will be different if you compare with the plastic film. So normally there are three types, glass greenhouse, plastic film greenhouse and the rigid panel greenhouse. In glass greenhouse basically this is the oldest technology normally due to that reason because in glass house same way like in plastic greenhouse greenhouse effect occurs due to that we say glass house okay glass house greenhouse polyhouse means it is, is the, the your cladding material is, is made of plastic so here whenever you are going for the constructing the using any material you have to take care what is its cost what is what is the its durability means the for how long you can use basically with the time due to uh, light intensity inside your structures changes. So light, how much light is going inside? What is the strength? Which type of frame we require to construct in greenhouse? In glass house is the you can say traditional one, and it's uh, and the different type of glass is there, different grades, weights, and size, different size glasses available in the market. Here the structural strength will require more in comparison to your plastic film green. Apart from that, the in case of plastic greenhouse. After the glass house, people have found out that the glass, because glass house it was good, but its cost was very high. So, with the development of plastic film, so people have started the plastic film greenhouse. In that also, there are various types of the polythene, polyester, polyvinyl normally we use. In that also, the important thing is how much transmit how much light is going means the photoactive radiation part is going that is important for your photosynthesis in la in in plastic film also they are different because in greenhouse different type of normally you add different type of chemicals to increase its strength and different properties that is su required to suitably or comfortably cultivate the crops one of the important uh, property is that if you will not use the UV invaders means the UV stabilizer in a plastic film in normal film that is available in the market it will, it will damage or it will tear out within the six to one year. But due to your raising UV inhibitors, means UV stabilizer chemicals you are adding inside the, when you are construct, when you are constructing, when you are manufacturing the plastic film, at that time you are raising the chemical additives that act as a UV stabilizer and that increases the shelf life. And in, in plastic film also different width, length and thickness film is available. In rigid panel, broadly you can classify in three ways, that is fiber reinforced plastic, that FRP, acrylic sheet and third one is the polycarbonate sheet. Fiber uh, FRP sheet, it is a, in various form it is available, in flat or corrugated config configuration it is normally corrugated panels used for roof purpose and the flat panels are used for side walls, wind and bands. But you have to take care because it is highly in 
inflammable flammable so due to that your insurance cost will be very uh, uh, very high in comparison to other film that is not flammable apart from that as i told in all the cladding material you have to take care of how, which type of light is going inside how the dust is affecting its light transmit transmittivity Be because with the time due to dust and other parameter and wearing and due to chemical changes you, your cladding material depending on which type of material you are using the light intensity decreases with the time so you, and apart from that if some pollution is occurring so you have to take care that you have to check that how much light in intensity uh, is changing with the time this is the your frp sheet second was as i told i told acrylic sheet here it is lightweight because it lightweight in comparison to glass panel it is also flammable and it is less expensive uh, uh, in comparison to your polycarbonate and here also it is more resistant to breakage than the glass so after the after the frp the this acrylic sheet has come and this is also normally used for longer duration this is the photograph third one is the latest one you can say polycarbonate sheet is is most widely used less less heat is lost in comparison to your glass panel it is available in corrugated double wall or triple wall and in suppose that easily re, uh, retrofitted to glass house means the wherever the glass house you have used in which frame in that same frame you can use the polycarbonate sheet it has a high impact resistance it is not considered flammable so you, whenever you're talking about the rigid plastic film uh, uh, cladding material you have to take into account the various uh, uh, parameter means the what is cost what is light intensity which type of light is going inside and what, what, how for how long duration you can use the uh, that cladding material this is the uh, photograph here in this is the summary table you can see here we have compared the various type of cladding material here it is uh, the types of plastic its advantage disadvantages what durability means for how long you can use the, this type of cladding material and light transmission as i told light transmission is very important due to that reason you are using the uh, uh, different type of cladding material okay and for uh, how much light is going photoelectric radiation uv is going or not how it is affecting means how the infrared is behaving it is suppose that already we have discussed because what happens the short wave in greenhouse short wave becomes a long wave so it, is it permitting the long wave to go outside the greenhouse if it will go outside it will not effective increase in the temperature so various parameters is there so we have to look into the various parameters so kindly go through this table apart from that that uh, uh, this is the greenhouse type based on the shape in shape also there are uh, various shapes is there but you have to take into account as i told the <coughs> various shape is first you have to take into account that whenever considering a particular shape what is its strength means the strength of your structure as i told normally persons from the civil background or design background those have the uh, i more idea about the strength of material and design how the different frames works okay so and apart from that when you are using which type of cladding material you using okay in that also depending upon the shape your light how much light is going means the light light intensity how much light is going inside what uh, what is the your how a spectrum because a spectrum change on depending upon your cladding material okay depending upon so design of a structure it will affect your inside microclimate what is the purpose it is hobby purpose or you are a small greenhouse or you can commercial greenhouse so depending on type of greenhouse and based on your requirement you have to choose the different type of shape uh, in solarium already we have discussed that it is connected to house lean it is also said lean to greenhouse or as that even as fan greenhouse in that also there are different types is there second one is the free standing already we have discussed and third one is the connected means the when the the two free standing greenhouse connect connected that you can say the several greenhouse joined together is the connected greenhouse we will discuss one by one. in solarium already we have discussed that it is it is the attached to any building so in the photograph you can see basically a uh, it is placed against the existing wall and commonly it is used for institutional or hobby greenhouse sometime it is used for heating your actual green, uh, actual house okay not you are using for cultivation basically you are using this type of structure to heating your your heating your house where you are living okay in in the 
in the free standing greenhouse the hoop type or pension type greenhouse is there this is curb roof greenhouse without side wall and the, normally you are using the plastic material because you are using the same plastic material because whenever you will attach the cladding material your air infiltration rate will change and that will affect your inside microclimate okay because that will affect your how much temperature is raising how much greenhouse effect is because already we have discussed due to because due to greenhouse effect and apart from that how much air tight your structure is there due to that two reason the air temperature inside the your greenhouse is more than the uh, uh, open field condition in modified quenset or arc normally you say modified or arc type greenhouse here you can say the semicircle part is there apart from that the side portion is the vertical one normally used for tomato cucumber you can use. here in gable uh, normally say even a span what is even a span you can see that the slope slope of your slope of your uh, pitch means the it, it, it two slopes of uh, two slopes of equal pitch and it means the the top portion is the width of the your width of the your uh, this width both the width is equal and the pitch means the slope means the uh, if how much angle it is making so both the angle in, in equal span greenhouse your width and the pitch is equal means the the angle it is angle it is making from the your horizontal part this is very common configuration and in uneven greenhouse it you can say gable type uneven greenhouse here you can say the w1 w2 is not equal and the angle angle the pitch angle you can say the angle it is making from your horizontal in top you make the horizontal line how much angle it is making so in unequal uh, uh, uneven span greenhouse the your angle theta 1 theta 2 will be is not equal but in even span it is equal normally you use this type of greenhouse in hilly terrain in saw tooth type greenhouse this is very uh, common type in, in, in attached category. Here you can say uh, greenhouse is similar to region four type greenhouse, except there is the provision for natural ventilation. And normally upper portion of roof are vented to take the, basically natural, so you have given the uh, vent on the top, so that the due to natural ventilation, uh, uh, you, you can cool your greenhouse. This is the ridge for or you can say, or gutter connected. This is a multiple FM greenhouse, connected greenhouse. Basically you can say, the equal span greenhouse are connected okay the free standing equal span greenhouse are connected here and and here due through the gutter we can uh, carry out the wrong uh, rain the, the rain you are getting on the top during rainy season we can you can remove the rain or melted snow during whenever we are getting the snow on the top of your uh, cladding material Apart from that, uh, the sum of the terms that is very important in your greenhouse structure, uh, different component is very important. So here you can see in this picture, this is the even span gable type even span greenhouse. A is your rafter. Okay, in as I told, in in case of your even span greenhouse rafter will means the A part, the A part that is rafter, the is equal in case of your even span greenhouse, and this angle will be equal. So and B is your end wall that is very common this is end wall C is the side post side post you are using in constructing of your greenhouse D is the your sorry C is the your side post and D is your side wall okay this is end wall this is side wall and C is your side post okay we are using for constructing the greenhouse and E is the purlin means the length the material you are using during construction that along the length okay so B is your you can say end wall c d is the side wall and c is the side post okay so these are the various component in the greenhouse apart from that the sum terms you can say that is if that is you can see if you compare here here that the rafter part that is attached to your side post okay that is if and purlin only we have discussed the this is the re top of your greenhouse the ventilate ventilation part we give here for the natural ventilation and truss in truss rafter already we have discussed strut and cords you are using to make the structure more uh, uh, you can say in for increasing the strength already we have discussed the truss type greenhouse structure so in truss because you are giving truss to improve the strength of, of your greenhouse apart from that you can say this is ground level this is the side post already we have discussed and you are using the curtain wall okay and footer is there 
Okay. So same thing you can see this from this photograph. This is sprouts and cords. Sprouts already we have discussed, and cords here you can see this is the this the vertical one is your sprouts, and this is the cords. This is the bottom cord you can see the, from this photograph. This is the ridge top one already we have discussed. This is ridge one, ridge bend. Uh, in case of sawtooth greenhouse you have seen normally you provide commonly in India you using this type of greenhouse to for providing the, your ventilation. So ridge through the this side wall your hot air go from the top ridge bend. We'll discuss detail when you are discuss we'll discuss the cooling of greenhouse. Apart from that, this is the purling that is the length uh, that the material you are using along the length of. So in any greenhouse, the width part is there, length is there. So the material you are using along the length of your greenhouse, that is purling. Uh, okay, so I hope that uh, uh, today, we have dis today we, will dis we have discussed about the uh, uh, various types of greenhouse. So kindly go through this and if you have any question, uh, you, you can contact me by various means. Thank you. Thank you for your patience.